Hello everyone, this is Moot, and this is an introduction to Greg Tech New Horizon Modded Minecraft. In this series, we're going to more talk about tutorials and uh, how to better play the game. If you're not familiar with the game, go ahead and download it. I, you can use the Feed the Beast or the Technic Launcher. I'll put the link in the description down below. Uh, but to just go ahead and get started, we're just going to follow the quest line. So when you start the game, you already have... Um, an inventory, a couple books in your inventory. You can push E to go into your inventory. And the books that we're going to follow specifically are going to be the quest book. And this is a quest book for from Better Questing. Now, you can either activate it through your inventory by selecting it, okay, and push and right click. Or what I like to do is when you get rid of the book, you can actually get rid of the book like that and push the tilde key. And you still have access to it. There it goes. We'll keep that for a little bit later. And every time you finish an accomplishment or an achievement, you get fireworks, which is nice. Um, we're going to go ahead and go through the quest. And it should be pretty simple. Uh, let's go ahead and do this first quest. So it says uh, dig up 16 dirt. Let's go ahead and dig up 16 dirt. Like everything else in Minecraft, you start by punching things with your fists. Now this modded version of it, the Greg Tech, uh, really focuses a lot on, I wanna say grinding, but it's really, it's grinding and having a different type of, a different type of recipes. And I got my 10 dirt, push tilde, go to quest, tier one. You can have all these different tiers including um, ones that are outside of tiers. Uh, but essentially, we're going to go through tier one all the way, hopefully, to tier six. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a long time. So I'll do quests that I think are simple enough to accomplish on, on my own without recording, and then ones that I think would be what I've had difficulty understanding within the game. I'll go ahead and make a tutorial video on that. Let's take a look at the quest here that we accomplished. So we accomplished the first quest, which is your first night. And it's a main quest. You can tell because it's a little thicker. Uh, this little line between the quests are thicker. And we went ahead and got 16 pieces of dirt, which is great. The next quest is going to be to get gravel and wood. And it looks like we get awards, a torch, and some sort of coin the explorer. So we're going to get gravel. We're going to get wood more wood so 32 blocks and oak wood log wood okay so let's go ahead and this looks fine let's take this one oh all right kind of don't like the mini map it tells you where the mobs are um, but that's just me I think it said 32 so we'll go ahead and get 32 pieces in order to get tools in this game um, it's not like traditional Minecraft where you can just uh, craft a pickaxe or a sword with a crafting table um, you actually have to create a crafting table using different different recipes and I'll actually show you that as well if we go ahead and open up our our menu or our inventory we have this whole not enough items mod which tells you all, all the different blocks in the entire game and you can scroll through you can actually search so if I want to search for crafting table searching there's my crafting table and I can I can push you oops I'm sorry I can right click on this and it'll tell me well, what the crafting table what recipes it's used in and if you left click it tells you how to craft it so I'm gonna need flint and uh, looks like pieces of wood in addition which I thought was awesome if you have an item in your inventory and you hover over it and push you it will also tell you what uh, that item is used in recipes um, kind of it kind of helps if you know if you have an item and you don't want to search through the not enough item mod uh, which could be a little laggy for people uh, with some PCs I only have 
16 gigs of RAM, which, I don't know, I think is pretty considerable. Some people don't have that much. I heard that most people, well, the the average thought is 8 gigs would be enough, but I don't think you can ever go wrong having more than 8 gigs of RAM. And what I like to do actually when I'm questing is I like to actually put this down in my bar so I can watch how close I am to it. And this series isn't going to be about me punching wood because that's going to be terribly, awfully boring for both of us because I hate talking. So we're going to punch this wood. We'll punch it later. I'm already bored of that. Let's go get some gravel. Reed sticks. In this game, you're pretty much going to use everything in the entire game. So if you pick something up in your inventory, like reeds, just go ahead and keep them. Here's our gravel right here. Let's go ahead and get some gravel. And our quest said it need how many gravel? 32. Good lord. Okay. So, small introduction to the game, I guess. Doesn't really tell you a whole lot about it, but in any case, uh, this is what the new series is going to be about. Love to have you join me. Uh, I'll try to, you know, post something or post a link uh, about a Discord server that maybe we can share our journey together. And yeah, it should be really fun. I uh, hope to see you and hope to see what your journey is. If you have any questions, you go ahead and post in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. But uh, Greg Tech New Horizons actually has a Discord server uh, that people will go ahead and answer questions. And they're really helpful um, because a lot of the game is really not intuitive um, to games, but it may be intuitive to real life if you're maybe an engineer or an aspiring engineer. Me as a nurse, it's, doesn't really, it's not intuitive to me because I work with blood and bodily fluids um not so much with well not technology anymore uh let's just go ahead and finish this quest that way i have something to show on my my video I'll try to make my videos about 10 minutes long or less than 10 minutes long i was looking i started playing minecraft back in college uh, it's been a couple years now, and it's uh, definitely one of my favorite games. There you go, I completed the quest, so we're going to open up the quest book. And sometimes if the quest doesn't complete and you know that you have the blocks in your inventory, you have to click submit for it to work. And then when you complete the quest and you have a quest reward, you have to claim the item, and it lets you claim it. So the next one is to craft flint. Uh, pretty straightforward. Oh, what I do there. So it wants us to craft flint, ten pieces of flint, and that's pretty easy. If you hold shift down, there you go. There you go. Finish the first three. Awesome. And we'll go ahead and claim our reward for our flint. And build our crafting table. We've got one minute to build our crafting table. How do we build it? Well, let's go ahead and left click on it and it'll tell us two flint and one wood. Have our inventory. So we're going to do two flint. Oops, and two pieces of wood. Man, right on. I always feel like a winner with this. Look at that. In this game, when it becomes dark, it becomes really dark. And. It's unforgivable, like unforgiving dark. You won't be able to see anything. So we'll just go ahead and leave it there. We'll claim our reward. And if you have any questions, go ahead and post in the comments. Until then, this is Moot signing off.